Am I the asshole? For yelling at my husband to leave me alone because he made an unjustified weight comment. Let me preface this by saying I'm 5 feet 2 inches and 120 pounds. I am completely happy with my weight and the way I look. I'm also health conscious but late night snacks are a vice for me. Mind you, we keep a snack bin in our room because I have an endocrine disorder which messes with my insulin, it's called PCOS. People with it experience intense food cravings typically sugar. I regulate the cravings with also has an endocrine disorder and I frequently wake up to him munching on something. I've even woken up to food wrappers in my bed and all I say is, can you please throw these away it's something I thought we had accepted with one another. So at 5.30 this morning, he wakes up to my crunching on crackers, while sitting on the corner of my bed. He sleeps heavy, so I was shocked I woke him. He responded, why are you eating right now? I say, I'm sorry, I haven't been able to sleep all night and now I'm hungry. To which he says, for someone who is concerned about their weight, this is the worst time to be eating. I have said minor comments in the past like these pants make my butt look huge or maybe this is not the most flattering shirt because you can see my stomach I don't think I'm fat. I respond, stop picking on me at this point I'm agitated. He says I'm your husband and I'm trying to help you, it's not healthy. I say, leave me alone and go back to sleep. He storms out of the room and insists I'm being mean to him all the while I'm apologizing asking him not to leave. I can completely understand how the crunch noise could be annoying. However, couldn't he have just said please go eat in the other room or try to be more quiet? So, am I the asshole? Here for waking him up or is he the asshole by saying he's helping me? BTW I would have happily moved to the other room if he told me to please put those away or got eat somewhere else. I just feel like this is gaslighting. Edit there are pieces left out here to make the post shorter, so let me clarify. He's acting as though I have asked him to watch what I eat. I have never asked him to monitor what I eat. He is saying that I am saying and doing things I never did and then makes me feel bad because I'm calling him out on that. He's using helping me in his defense to say rude shit when he's annoyed I've never asked him to help me and he's acting as if I did. Look, I never claimed to be a psychologist. Pipe down. If I got it wrong I got it wrong. Sorry. Esh and he is not gaslighting you. That is not what that word means. If you eat noisy snacks at 5.30am go someplace else. If you wake someone up when they're sleeping apologize. And for him, if his issue is with the noise he should say so. If his issue is with your food choices he should keep that to himself or if he's truly worried about your health choose the right time and way to have that conversation. ESH. This seems like such a petty, nonsensical fight I can only assume something else is going on in your marriage to make you both react this way. Also learn the meaning of the word gaslight before you throw it around like that. Not the asshole. For a start, he frequently wakes you up by eating snacks, and presumably, you don't start condescending to him about his weight when this happens. Secondly, there was just absolutely no need for the weight comment. You are a healthy weight. Even if you were not, if he was annoyed about the noise, he should have just said that. Telling everyone in here to pipe down after asking for their opinion makes me think there may be more said that led him to storm out of the bedroom. Info How often do you vocalize your weight consciousness to your husband? Not the asshole 120 pounds at 5'2 is not overweight. Tell your husband to take a hike. Either you both get to eat in bed or no one does. Not the asshole, I don't understand why y'all keep a snack bin in your room if he's going to get annoyed at you for eating out of it. It sounds like he wants the snacks to be just for him which sucks. Not the asshole. And for the record 5 feet 2 inches 120, you've got a rocking body and have nothing to be concerned about. ESH. Why are you eating snacks in bed? Keep them in the kitchen and don't eat in your room. Your husband was being unkind, but you also woke him up with your crunching. Not the asshole however, 
if you are both concerned about health you should keep the snacks out of the room, for both of you. Info what do you think gaslighting means? Also, yes h. Info if you understand how the crunch noise can be annoying, why not just go eat elsewhere? ESH. You should both stop eating in bed and waking each other up in the middle of the night. ESH. You for crunching food whilst someone else is sleeping, therefore waking him up. Him for his unkind comments. Info. Why are you keeping a snack bin in the bedroom if you have issues with late night snacks? I just feel like this is gaslighting. It's not. However, couldn't he have just said please go eat in the other room or try to be more quiet? Why didn't it occur to you to leave the room? Why does he need to be the one to tell us you to leave? You know the sound is annoying, but you just sat there and crunched away anyway. Esh because you both need to grow up and be learn to communicate like actual grown ups. Esh both of you stop eating in bed. He wakes you up eating now you've returned the favor. Go eat in the kitchen. You're both annoying. Not the asshole. I'm trying to figure out how 120 at 5 2 makes anyone wait s literally the perfect weight for that height. I snack at night and never has my bf got mad. He's called me a raccoon and also laughs at the time I lost a chicken wing in the white hotel woke up and it looked like a murder scene but really it was just Marco's hot wings lol. Not the asshole but that isn't gaslighting. This is so not gaslighting in any way, shape, or form, let alone at its finest. Don't eat snacks at 5.30am while someone is sleeping in the same bed. Hungry? Leave the room and eat on the couch. You can't eat loud food in bed when someone is asleep then be surprised when they're woken up and get angry. It's a ESH from me. And you're the asshole for calling this gaslighting. Gaslighting is abuse, so you're calling him abusive. You're the asshole for not understanding the meaning of gaslighting and misusing it as an excuse to blast your husband for not wanting an unplated buffet in the sheets. Are you both 12? ESH. Nadar. I'm 5'4 plus 127 pounds not sure why you are so concerned about your weight. I tend to stay awake half the night because my mind has its own sleeping schedule. If I'm hungry, I eat. If my husband would tell me I'm too heavy, guess who's getting salad for two weeks? Plain lettuce, nothing added. Him. Not me. Not the asshole. Monitoring someone else's food intake is controlling. But crunching on crackers in bed while someone else is trying to sleep. I wouldn't sleep in that bed. Esh and that isn't gaslighting. Stop eating in your bedroom. I wouldn't throw you out of bed for eating crackers not the asshole. Not the asshole there was nothing unhealthy about that, his comments were so unnecessary. Like you said, if it was about snacking in bed he could have just said that.